Good evening. I want to talk about a very sensitive issue. It's pertaining to something that I saw over the weekend. It's pertaining to how black men in New York City are dressing. But I have to preface this video by, by stating that you are to dress how you feel comfortable. And your preferences is also your business as well. But I'm concerned about how the men in my community are dressing in New York City. And I want to try to understand what's going on. And I'm wondering whether it's partly what I was talking about in an earlier video about your resp the, the responses that you get based on what you dress. And black men in New York City, young black men, like in their teens or 20s, and even part of the 30s, that they're not taken seriously, they're not really treated very nicely. And so I'm wondering whether or not the black men in New York City are doing this for favorability. So this is what I saw over the weekend. I saw a group of group of people, it could have been a, a group of 25 young people, uh, a mixed crowd, uh, male and female, black, whites, um, lighter skin people, I'm not sure what category they were in. And it, they, they were very lively, they were very happy, very, very social. It, it, it was very positive, everything, you know. And, but one, in partic one particular male took my attention. Um, he was a, a dark skinned male. He was clean. He, uh, I noticed what, um, he was wearing a, looked like a bandana over his breath. Now he, he's a slim male, uh, early 20s, and he wore like a black bandana over his breast. And he's kind of muscular, you know. At first I thought initially um, that it might have been a female, but then when he got up and I see that, oh, that's a, a man. I'm wondering why is he wearing the, the bandana? And then when he was covering his breast, like he had put when he got it, he put one hand over the breast area as like a, a modesty thing. What, what I interpret as he's showing modesty, like uh, he's um, role-playing a female that wants to cover her breast for, in modesty. And I, I just didn't understand it. And everybody seemed to get along. There was no bias, whatever. But it just took my attention. And again, if he wants to wear that, you know, that's his business. He, he wore slacks. He wore men's pants, um, like straight leg, black, black uh, jeans. And I, it, I didn't understand. And I felt like, like, I'm thinking, well, if he wants to show modesty in dress, then he could have wore a T-shirt. So he does have to do the thing and cover his breasts. But he, he's a man. And he's kind of muscular, you know. You, you know, if you're a guy, you know, you want to show that you got a nice chest, you know. Um, you know, I, I'm trying to make light of it, um, but I, I, I'm not here to mock anybody. I don't understand what's happening in the community, and I'm wondering whether or not being in certain company is making young black males feel like they have to do this to be accepted by whites. It looked like, I don't know, my impression of this group was it was a polit like a political thing. I, ha I had met a, a young man that belonged to a group. It was uh, interracial, you know, male and female, and it was a, a political uh, type of group. And so this, this group of people just seem to have the same resonance to it. So I, I also see like more men wearing a whole outfit, a woman's outfit, sometimes makeup, sometimes long nails with nicely painted 
the gestures that uh, are stere stereotypical, uh, you know, uh, what women may be perceived as, you know, acting like. So I, I, don't, I don't know why this is going on. And it just seems more and more pervasive. And I feel uncomfortable because one, I don't understand. And if it's if women, if black women or women in general are making men, young black men feel uncomfortable. And or is it about being accepted by by whites? Uh, for, for job opportunities or what what is it how we, how we how women go to meet men and yes I know there are women who may wear men's attire but that doesn't bother me as much as a as a man dressing like a, a woman and I think part of that might be because I was raised in a very male dominated home had five brothers. I have five brothers and my father, and my father was in the Marines, um, but I don't know. And so I I care about the black community, and I I, I don't understand it. Please, someone try to explain to me what might be happening in New York City. And again, whatever what your preferences are, is your business. And I'm not attacking that, but I just want to understand. And what if it's something that women are doing, uh, please tell us. Please teach us. So that's all that I have to say. And I hope no one was offended. But I want to put it out there because it's, it's happening more. And I want to understand what's going on in my community. And if it's something that I need to to address to this community, I, I don't know. But yes, feel free to comment below. You can share this video with friends or family members. You could subscribe to my channel and please give me the thumbs up. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.